All right, so today we're going to do a warm-up video. So this is a warm-up that any one of our gymnasts can use, and we recommend that you do this warm-up video before all of our other program videos. All right, so before we start, make sure you've got a nice clear space, no furniture in the way, and make sure you've got an adult present, so mum or dad or an, another adult in your family, to make sure you're being nice and safe when you do your home gymnastics workouts. All right, you won't need any equipment or anything else other than just your body for this warm up. All right, so we're going to start with a little bit of cardio workout so that we can get our heart pumping, get our muscles nice and warm. All right, so we're going to start off with 30 seconds of jogging on the spot. Ready, set, go. That's it, keep going. All right, we're halfway. That's it, keep it up. Only 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, without stopping, 10 high knees. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job, everyone. Next, we're going to do 10 jumping jacks, then straight away, 10 high knees again. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job. Hopefully, we're starting to feel a little bit warmer. We're going to do another 30 seconds of jogging. 10 more high knees, and then we're going to do some stretching. All right, ready, set, go. That's it, keep it up. Nearly done, halfway through. That's it, keep going, keep going, keep going. And five, four, three, two, one, and ten high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good work, everyone. We all feeling nice and warmed up? Awesome. All right, we're going to follow me for some stretching. Starting with our arm circles. Stretching out nice and wide. And going the other way. All right. You're going to have one arm nice and straight across your body. And using your other hand, just stretch your muscle across your body. Good job. And other arm nice and straight. Use your hand to stretch. All right, this time you're going to put one arm up next to your ear. Bend your arm down. Reach your hands down your back. And then use your other hand to pull your elbow. Good job. And now the other arm. Reach up. Bend down. And pull across. All right, good job. Sitting down on the floor now for the next few. We're going to have our legs nice and straight out in front of us in our pike shape. Squeezing our knees, pointing our toes, reach up to the roof and stretch as far as you can. Try to walk your hands a little bit further out. And a little bit further. And coming up. This time we're going to do the same thing, but you're going to pull your toes up towards the roof. All right, we're flexing our toes. See if you can stretch down. And walk your fingers a little bit further. And walk them a little bit further. And coming out. All right, turning out into our straddle sit. 
legs nice and wide apart. Make sure your knees stay pointing up to the roof. Okay, we're going to stretch both hands to one foot. And then stretch both hands to the other foot. And then see how far you can stretch down the middle. Excellent. All right, bring your legs together. Give them a bit of a shake. Shake the muscles out. All right, next one we're going to do is our seal stretch. We're stretching our tummy. Make sure you're trying to get your feet squeezing together behind you. And then we're going to go into our cat stretch. So we're going to push our shoulders down into the floor. Excellent. Give your arms a bit of a shake. Give your whole body a bit of a shake. Give everything a bit of a shake. And we're ready to start our gymnastics programs. All right, I hope everyone had a good warm up and is feeling nice and ready to do some bars, beam, and floor skill work today. So, this video is aimed at our junior competitive girls. So, that's girls doing uh, either Gym Star or ALP levels one through to four. All right, so. For this video, you're going to need a stick. I've got a lovely metal pole here, um, but you could use a broomstick or even just a stick that you find out in the backyard. So we're going to start off with some bars conditioning. All right, first one we're going to do, standing up, making sure you've got a nice uh, dished shape through your core, rounded shoulders. And we're going to do 20 standing shoulder raises. All right, so what that looks like is coming from here, your dish shape, which is the shape that you should be when you get up on top of a bar. If you think you've just done a chin-up pullover, and you're finishing that in this nice tall shape. And we're going to bring our arms all the way up to our ears, making sure we keep our chest nice and rounded. All right, we're going to do that 20 times. Okay, nice and fast up, and then controlled on the way down. All right, here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Alright, good work. The next one, so that we're getting our wrists moving, ready for some circle skills when we get back into the gym. Holding your pole out nice and straight in front of you and spinning your wrists. See how far you can get your wrist to turn. Once you've done 10 spinning the bar one way, see if you can spin the bar the other way 10 times as well. While you're doing this, remember to keep your core switched on, which means you're squeezing your tummy muscles and you're squeezing your bottom while you're standing up nice and tall. All right, good job. What we're going to do now, for this one, you're not going to need your pole. You're just going to put it on the ground next to you. We're going to do five front support slide outs. Okay, so what that is, is we're going to start in front support. You're going to let your toes slide out behind you really slowly until you get down onto your tummy. So the main thing to remember for this one is to keep our tummy squeezed. So you want your whole body to lower at the same time. We want to make sure we're being super quiet. So we don't want to hear a big thud when you get down onto the ground. All right, let's give it a go. Starting in your front support shape and sliding your feet all the way down, nice and slowly. All right. We're going to do four more of those. Only three to go. You're doing really well. Keep it nice and quiet. Two 
Two left. Make sure your chest stays really round. Only one more to go. All right, really good job on those. I hope you are all going as slowly as you could. For the next one, we're going to grab our bar again. We're going to do 20 leg raises. Okay, so you're going to lie down on your back, holding your bar. We're going to try and bring our toes all the way up to our hands. All right, this is going to be good for when you start learning your kips. You need to bring your toes all the way up to the bar. So lying down, and here we go, 20 of these. All right, we're halfway through, we've done 10. Five more to go. And one more, all the way up to the bar, and down. All right, good work, girls. We're doing a really good job so far. Last little bit for our bars conditioning. We're going to do a little bit of a core circuit. All right, so we're going to start with dish, dish rocking, then arch, and arch rocking. Then we're going to go into our front support shape and do some front support rocking. All right, so using our pole for dish and arch, and then just hands on the floor for our front support. We're going to hold each shape for 15 seconds. Okay, getting ready, and go. Keep it up, and 15 dish rocks. Ten. Fifteen. All right. Rolling onto your tummy for our arch. Ready for 15 second hold. And go. Fifteen rocks. All right, last bit, front support. Fifteen seconds and go. Remember to be pushing your shoulders really tall to the roof. And five, four, three, two, one, and 15 rocks. Try to rock forwards over your shoulders. Five more. All right. Good work, girls. That's our bars conditioning done. Moving on to our beam skills. So you're still going to need your pole for some of these so that we can work on our nice presentation arms for our beam skills. So I've got my lovely line ready to go. If you don't have a beam at home, you can just use a line or you could use 
Just some markers on the floor to be able to see that you're going in a nice straight line. So first off, starting at the edge of our beam, arms up in our presentation arms, ready for forwards walking. Remembering nice straight knees and as high as you can on your toes. We're going to do 20 steps. So for me, I'm probably going to get to the end of the beam and have to turn around again. So you just need to work out how many steps you can take in your space at home. All right, so I got 10 steps, so now I'm going to turn around, do 10 steps back again. All right, next one, backwards walking. Same thing, 20 steps. Up on your toes, nice tight knees. All right, turning around, ready to go back again. Okay, and next one, sideways walking. Up really tall on your toes, stepping out and together. Make sure you're squeezing your tummy so you can balance. All right, so I've done 10 steps one way, now we're going to do 10 steps back again. And 10. All right, good work everyone. For the next one, we're going to be thinking about how we can stay nice and balanced while we're getting close down to the beam. Okay, so you can put your stick just to the side for now and we're going to crawl along our beam. We're going to try and take 10 steps forwards and then 10 steps backwards, making sure our hands and knees stay on the beam the whole time. Squeeze your tummy so you don't wobble. And 10, and then we're going to go 10 backwards as well. Okay, and this one we're going to do, it's almost like crawling, but we're going to be on our hands and our feet. We're going to be up in a squat shape with your feet on your beam, hands go forwards, and we're going to shuffle our knees back in again. Alrighty, we're only doing those ones forwards. And for the next one, we're going to grab our stick again. We're going to do some step kicks. Alright, so starting, start of your beam, arms up in your presentation, and ready for 10 step kicks forwards. Then we're going to do 10 step kicks backwards. Alright, here we go. Make sure you've got really squeezed knees and pointed toes. Alright, turn around if you need to to finish off your 10 step kicks. Alright, now we're going to do our backwards kicks. Remember when we do our backwards kicks, we're still going to walk forwards, but we're kicking our legs backwards. Nice presentation arms and kicking our leg backwards. Make sure you've got straight legs when you kick your leg. Turn around when you need to. Alrighty, good job everyone. If your arms are getting a little bit tired, you can put your pole down and do your nice arms down by your sides. Okay, for the next one, we're going to do our passe walking. Okay, remember when we do our passe shape, you want to be bringing your toe all the way to your knee and you're lifting your front knee up as high as you can. Okay, we're going to do 10 passe steps forwards. Arms in present and toe to knee and step. See if you can tap your toe on the beam before you step so it's nice and controlled.
Make sure you turn around when you need to. We're doing 10 passe steps. Okay, good work everyone. For the next one, we're going to do three steps forward, then we're going to squat down and stand back up again and take another three steps forward. You're not going to use your uh, stick or your pole or your broomstick for this one. We're just going to have our arms nicely pulled back behind our bottom and our nice gymnast presentation fingers. All right, see if you can do this on your toes the whole time. So we're going to go one, two, three, squat down, stand up. And one, two, three, squat down, stand up. One, two, three, squat down, stand up. One, two, three, squat down, stand up. All right, we're going to turn around. We're gonna do three more of those. So that's three more squats, here we go. Three steps forward, squat down, and stand back up. Make sure you keep your tummy squeezing so you don't wobble when you stand back up from your squat. And done, good work. Next one we're going to do is our half turn on two feet. So one foot in front of the other, arms pulled back, up onto your toes, we're going to do half turn and back down again. All right, make sure you keep your tummy and your bottom squeezing. And we're going to do four more of those. So turn and down. Up on your toes, turn and down. All right, we're going to do two more. Up onto your toes, turn and down. One more, up, turn, down. All right, good job. Next one we're going to do is our half turn on one foot. Okay, if you're not quite up to these, that's okay. You can still give it a go. For this one, you're going to start with your passe shape. Then you're going to bring your knee out to the side and you're going to turn to the other side, okay? As you turn, make sure you go up as tall as you can on your toes. All right, let's have two more tries at that one. Starting in your passe, out, turn, and down. All right, one more try. In your passe, and turn, and down. You can have a few more tries of that if you want to. The rest of us, we're going to move on to our next one, which is our straight jump drill. Okay, so this is like doing a straight jump, but we're not going to actually jump off the beam. Okay, we're going to start reaching tall, swing, reach up on your tippy toes, and then do your motorbike shape. Okay, so everyone have a go at that. And then we're going to do four more. So reach, swing, stretch on your toes and motorbike. Good job, three more of those. Two more. And one more. Reach really tall and motorbike. All right, good job everyone. We're going to have a go at doing five straight jumps now, okay? If you don't have a safe space to be able to do your straight jumps, then you can just do your straight jump drill again, all right? So let's go, everyone reaching up tall and landing in our motorbike shape. Remember when we're on beam, we need one foot in front of the other so that we can balance and not fall off. Let's do four more straight jumps. Two more. And one more, make this one as high as you can go. All right, good job everyone. Our last one for beam today is five bunny hops. Remember to have your butterfly hands when you're doing your bunny hops on the beam so that we're getting ready for our handstands in our higher levels. We're gonna put our hands down, kicking our feet up as high as we can. See if you can get your hips all the way on top of your shoulders for a tuck handstand shape. All right. We'll do three more of these. All right. And that's all of our beam skills done for today. The next one, 
We're not going to need our pole anymore, so you can pop that one away. And we're going to do some floor conditioning. All right, so this is going to be getting our bodies, all of our muscles, back into the idea of having to squeeze really tight for all of our gymnastics skills. All right, so we're going to start on the floor. And we're going to try and hold all of these shapes for 10 seconds without having any break in between. All right, so we're going to start with our tuck dish shape. Now, if tuck dish is too easy for you, you can do your straight leg dish. All right, ready, set, go. Okay, getting roll, ready to roll over into our Superman shape. And rolling straight away into Superman. All right, the next one. We're going to push up into a front support shape. All right, so put your hands under your shoulders and push yourself up, holding our front support shape. Okay, getting ready to turn your hand to roll over to rear support. Make sure your fingers are pointing towards your toes. All right, getting ready to roll back over into our front support shape, but this time you're going to go down onto your elbows. All right, everyone holding this shape. All right, good job dropping down into a handstand shape on our tummy. And rolling over to handstand shape on your back. Remember to squeeze your ears with your arms. Okay, sitting up into our pike sit. You're going to see if you can put your hands on the floor and lift your feet off the floor. Try and hold that. Five more seconds in this shape. Okay, coming down, turning into your straddle. We're going to do the same thing. Try to lift your toes off the floor. Awesome, and last one, we're going to do tuck sit, but instead of staying in this shape, you're going to lift your toes off the floor, so you're balancing on your bottom, and then arms squeezing out in front of you, trying to balance here. All right, and coming down. All right, give yourself a bit of a shake out. Shake out all your muscles. All right, and ready for our cool down. Good work today, everyone. All right, now that we are all nice and warmed up, we're going to get onto some bars conditioning. So what you're going to need for this video is just a pole. You might like to use a broomstick or just any sort of pole that you can find around the house. Even if you don't have anything inside the house, you could use a nice long stick from the backyard. All right, so what we're going to start with is our bent knee shape. All right, so you're going to go down onto the floor like this with a nice angle here between your knees. We're going to reach up really tall, pushing the bar up towards the roof. All right, we're going to stay here in this position for 10 seconds, and we'll have a little rest, and then we'll do it again. All right, ready, set, go. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, have a little bit of a rest and then we'll go one more time, okay? Ready? Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
One, all right, excellent work everyone. The next one we're going to practice is our tuck dish. Okay, so we're going to keep holding onto the bar, pretending that we're holding onto the bar at gymnastics. We're going to go down into our tuck dish. And we're going to do the same thing two times, doing 10 seconds each time. Okay, getting ready to go. First time, 10 seconds. Ready, set, go. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job, having a little rest. Roll out your shoulders a bit. And ready to go one more time. Here we go. And tuck dish. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, good job. Next one is our Superman shape. We're getting ready to go onto our tummies. Going to lie down, holding onto the bar out in front of you, and then lift up tall into your Superman. All right, ready to go. Two times, 10 seconds. Ready, set, go. And three, two, one, and relax. All right, one more time for our Superman. Ready, set, go. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, good job. One of our really important bar shapes next is our front support shape. All right, so we're not going to use the bar for this one. We're just going to do it with our hands on the floor. And we're going to do 10 seconds of our front support shape. So everyone get ready. And let's go, 10 seconds holding. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done, everyone's doing a really good job so far. Give your wrists a little bit of a roll out if you need to. All right, for the next one, we're going to hold on to our bar again. You're going to see if you can stretch forwards and put your feet onto the bar as well. So it's going to be a little bit of a stretch. So we're going to try and hold this one for 10 seconds. So everyone trying to hold, stretch it out. If you're feeling super flexible, you can move your legs in a little bit closer. All right, we're going to hold five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work. The next one we're going to do is some leg raises. All right, so we're going to try and do 10 of these. Holding onto our bar still, like before. Going to lie down onto your back. And we're going to lift our legs up to the roof and then back down again all the way to the floor this time. Okay, so we're going to do 10 of these all together. Everyone getting ready. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. And 10. Good work, everyone. All right, we've got two more bars activities to go. Standing up for this one, you're going to hold onto the bar like you would be holding onto a bar at gymnastics. We're going to lift it all the way up, really slowly, all the way up to our ears, and then all the way back down again to our hips. All right, make sure you keep your eyes watching the bar the whole time. All right, let's go. We're going to do five of these super slowly. Okay, watching the bar all the way up. Right up, squish your ears and all the way back down again. That's one. Here we go again. All the way up to your ears. Squish your ears at the top and down. That's two. Squish at the top. 
and three. We've got two more. Make sure you keep your eyes following the bar all the way up, all the way down. One more time. All right, good job. And the last one, you're going to hold your stick or your pole or your broomstick out in front of you like this. And we're going to try and twist it around our hands 10 times. See how far you can turn your wrist over the top to twist it. Once you've done 10, see if you can twist it the other way. That's it, good job. See how far you can move your wrists. Good work, everyone. All right, we're going to move on to some beam activities. Okay, so if you want to, you can use your pole to help you to work on your presentation arms. Okay, so I've got a nice line on the floor here that's going to be my beam. If you don't have a line on the floor at home, that's okay. You can just try to go in a straight line on the carpet. All right. So what we're going to do first, just along our beam, we're going to have our nice presentation arms and we're going to do 20 steps forwards. Okay, you might not fit it all in one lap, you might have to turn around at the end and go back again. So let's go 20 steps. See if you can go right up onto your tippy toes. Alright, so I did 10 steps in one lap, so I have to turn around and go back again. Do another 10 steps. All right, good work. Next one, we're going to do 10 backward steps. All right, so try to go up on your tippy toes. Nice presentation arms, really tall. And stepping backwards, try to stay in your straight line. Good job. Who managed to stay on their straight line? I hope everyone did. We're going to do 10 more backward steps, going back the other way. Here we go, as tall as you can. Try to lift your chin up. And 10 steps. Excellent. Okay, for the next one, we're going to do sideways steps. All right, for this, I want you to try and keep your knees super straight. All right, we're still going to have our presentation arms. We're still going to be up tall on our tippy toes. We're going to step to the side. All right, so now that we've done 10 steps one way, we're going to stay facing the same direction. So I'm going to keep facing the camera. We're going to go back the other way. Awesome. Good work, everybody. Give your arms a bit of a shake. Shoulders might start to get a little bit sore. If your shoulders do start to get sore, you can just have your arms down by your sides for some of them. For the next one, we're going to be walking forwards again, but this time we're going to try and do it with bent knees. Okay, so we're still going to have presentation arms or arms nicely down by your side. We're still going to be up really high on our tippy toes like this. All right. Mum and Dad might think you look a bit like Michael Jackson. Here we go, walking forwards. See if you can stay really tall on your tippy toes. Good job. And we're going to turn around and go back again. Ten more steps. Awesome. Do we feel like we're back in the gym on the beam again? I hope so. Next one we're going to do is some step kicks. All right, so we're going to have our presentation arms out. We're going to take a step. We're going to kick our foot nice and high in front of us. Make sure when you do your kick, you've got straight knees and nice pointed toes out in front of you. All right, so we're going to do 10 kicks. I've done five, turning around, and five more going back the other way. Excellent. 
Excellent. Okay. Next one is going to be some half turns. So we're going to put our little sticks down now. We're not going to need those ones anymore. We're going to do our half turn. So we're going to have one foot in front of the other on our line or our beam. We're going to have our arms stretching behind us. Nice gymnast fingers. Up really tall on your tippy toes. Squeeze your tummy and your bottom and try and do a half turn. All the way around to face the other way. Then you can go back down on your flat feet again. All right, let's try do four more of those. Up really tall, turn, and down. Do two more. And one more. Up really tall, turn, and back down again. Good work. All right, next one we're going to do our straight jump drill, okay? So for this, we're not going to actually jump yet. We're just going to practice what it feels like to do a straight jump on the beam. So start with your arms reaching really tall. We're going to swing down like we're about to jump. But then instead of jumping, you're just going to reach on your tippy toes and then do your motorbike shape. All right, so it's like we're doing a jump, but we're not really. Let's do that one again. Start really tall. Swing your arms down. Reach. And motorbike. Good job. All right, we're going to do three more of those ones. Here we go. Okay, one more. Swing down. Reach really, really tall. And nice, strong motorbike shape to finish off. All right, good job, everyone. For the next one, if you don't have enough space to do a proper straight jump, then you can just do your straight jump drill again. But if you do have enough space, we're going to do five straight jumps on our beam. Starting up really tall, swing your arms down, jump, and motorbike. Make sure you land with one foot in front of the other so that you can stay balanced on your beam. We're going to do four more of these. Good job, make sure you hold your motorbike landings. Awesome, we've got two more. And one more to go. See how high you can jump? Awesome, okay, for our last one, we're going to do some bunny hops on our beam. All right, so bunny hops on the beam are just the same as doing bunny hops on the floor, Except you're going to start with one foot in front of the other. And you need to make sure your hands are going like a butterfly on the beam. All right, so we're going to put our hands down. We're going to jump our feet up and landing one foot in front of the other back onto the beam. All right, let's try four more of those. And one more. Awesome work, everyone. That's all of our beam skills done for today. The last one we're going to do is a little bit of floor conditioning. So we're getting our minds and our bodies to think about how squeezing tight we need to be when we come back to gymnastics. So for this one, we're going to try and do all of the activities all in a row without having any break. That sounds really tough, but I know you're all strong enough to do it. All right, so the first one we're going to do is tuck dish. So everybody getting ready? We're going to hold each one for 10 seconds. All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, okay, we're going to roll onto our tummies for an arch shape. And Superman, I'm going to hold this one for 10 seconds, two, five, four, three, two, one. All right, put your hands underneath your shoulders and you're going to see if you can push your body up into your front support shape. We're going to hold our front support shape for our 10 seconds as well. We've got five more seconds, four, Three, two, one. Excellent. We're going to turn over 
into our back support. Make sure you turn your hands so that your fingers are pointing to your toes. Lift your hips up as high as you can. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. We're going to turn back over now. We're going to do front support again. But this time, instead of being on our hands, you're going to go down onto your elbows. Make sure you still squeeze your bottom. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. You're going to go down all the way onto your tummy and pretend like you're doing a handstand, but you're going to be lying down on your tummy. So you need your legs squeezing, bottom in, tummy in, and holding. And five, four, three, two, one. Rolling onto our backs. Pretend like you're doing a handstand again. Squeeze every muscle in your body as tight as you can. And three, two, one. Sitting up really tall with your legs nice and straight, your toes pointed. Reach up tall for an L sit. And five, four, three, two, one. All right. Second last one. Legs out nice and wide. Arms pushing backwards. Chins up nice and tall. Squeeze your tummy for our straddle sit. Five more seconds in this one. Three, two, one. Coming down. Last one. We're going to do tuck sit, but instead of staying with our feet touching the floor, you're going to see if you can balance on your bottom and lift your toes up. If this is too easy, try it with your arms stretching out in front of you. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, everybody. Give all your muscles a bit of a shake out. All right, I hope you enjoyed our bars, beam and floor workout today. We'll see you next week for some more videos. All right, so this video is going to be just a general cool down. So hopefully you've had a lot of fun doing your uh, general gymnastics at home workout today. So we're just going to do a couple of stretches just to finish off. All right, so just going to loosen up the shoulders few forwards, few backwards. All right, a couple of arm circles. Just trying to slowly lower our heart rate, keeping the movement going as we settle ourselves down. Just some slight neck movements. Don't stretch yourself too far. And looking to each side. All right, we're going to do just a light twist, loosening off our back after we've done all of that conditioning. All right, good. Give yourself just a bit of a shake out. Shake all your muscles, all your legs, arms, everything. All right, just a couple more stretches to finish off. We'll do a seal stretch. Good, you can put your head back to this one. Just relax into it a little. And our cat stretch, pushing our shoulders to the floor. Good. So you should feel your heart rate starting to go down now. Starting to cool down the muscles. Do a pike stretch. Stretch out those hamstrings. And a straddle stretch, reaching down the middle. Don't worry about stretching too far on these ones. But you might find, now that you're nice and warmed up, that you can stretch a little bit further than you did in the warm-up. We're going to do our butterfly. Use your elbows to push your knees down towards the floor. All right, and... Finishing off with just a little twist. To each side. 
All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed all your workouts today and we're looking forward to seeing you again.